to explain the problems that uh, the people of Nakuru are going through and uh, it's something that has been the headline for the last maybe now three months, more than three months and I need to ex explain it by reading this speech. And it's about the Nakuru War Memorial Hospital. War Memorial Hospital is a company limited by guarantee meaning it is a company without shares. The current, the, the, uh, that currently employ more than 300 workers, including doctors, nurses, clinical officers, and casual workers. It is one of the best private hospitals in Akuru County, rendering its high quality health care services to the people of Nakuru local and international tourists, as well as patients from neighboring counties. It was registered in 1924 and allocated the land in 1927 for a term of 95 years. When the lease expired in 2021, the hospital applied for renewal, which was granted for further 50 years. The new title deed and the old one is the same acreage. Sometimes back, sometimes back in April 2023, the land registrar Nakuru issued a notice to cancel the title deed after complaint by the Nakuru County government. Nakuru War Memorial Hospital filed a case against the land registrar of Nakuru and Anthony Genu. The High Court stopped the attempted cancellation of the title deed. On 25th October 2023, the county government invaded the War Memorial Hospital and claimed to have taken over the operations of the hospital. On 31st October 2023, the hospital moved to court and obtained orders restraining the county government from interfering with the management of the hospital. The county government did not comply on, comply on 2nd November. The hospital went back to court and obtained orders directing OSPD Nakuru East to assist the hospital to remove county staff. On 5th November, the hospital reverted back to management until 19th January 2024, when the county government invaded the hospital in violation of the existing court order. On the 25th Jan 2024, the court visited the hospital and confirmed that indeed the county government had taken over the hospital. The county commander was ordered by the court, the, 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 county, the county police commander was ordered by the court to assist the War Memorial Hospital and ensure the orders issued on 31st October are complied with. Are complied with. The county police commander did not enforce the court orders until 1st, 20, 1st February 2024 when courts threatened to jail the county police commander for contempt of court. The county commander proceed, uh, proceeded to the hospital and removed the county as carries. Thereafter, nurses and doctors went back to the hospital. One hour later, the county government mobilized goons armed with lungus and swords who invaded the hospital and evacuated the workers who were already working in their respective duty stations. The hospital management sought police assistance to remove the goons, but were not given. As we speak, the hospital is under the control of armed criminal goons hired by the county government of Nakuru. The place in a, is inaccessible again, inaccessible again. What is going on? That is what the Nakuru people are asking. Are we in Kenya with the rule of law and some banana can or, or some banana country? 
the people on Nakuru are asking, what is going on? Are we in Kenya with the rule of law or some banana country? Our businesses safe in Nakuru County. The governor must be stopped from, from name dropping that president's name when giving orders to police to do her, to do her dirty business of land grabbing. All they want is to grab the War Memorial Hospital land. I call upon President William Samoy Ruto and the National Land Commission to protect this land and the premises from these robbers. For as long as I'm the Senator of Nakuru County, it shall not happen. I ask the people of Nakuru to come out and generously fight for what is right and just. We must respect court orders and rule of law to avoid anarchy. It is important to note that when the county government invaded the hospital, patients were forcefully removed from the dialysis machines and others from ICU, two of these patients died shortly. Nakuru County residents are under hostage and are not guaranteed of our, our, our security and the investors are so much worried. We are asking His, His Excellency, our beloved President, to urgently intervene and save us from the criminal goons that are operating in Nakuru town as confirmed. Thank you. Yes, you can, you can. Okay, just need to move the police, the number of pages. People who tried to forge the lease agreement to, to, to extend the lease. Mm, yeah, there, there's nothing like that. The lease expired in 2021. They applied the, the, for the extension of the lease and they were given for 50 years and they have that title to date. Yes, they have that title to date. And what I think the county government, when they came in, in April, that's the time now they, they called the Nakuru Registrar to announce that uh, title, which they, of course they refused. And then of course the War Memorial then went to... Uh, so when they refused, I think the county government uh, invaded the hospital to take over. But the, the War Memorial uh, Management went to court and they were given the court order. So about the leases in court, about the, 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 I mean, whether the lease is whatever is in court, but we, we've seen the title is genuine. The lawyers are there, they are confirming it's genuine. But, and also now, the manager, and also, if at all is a land, uh, the lease has expired. Who is supposed to, 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 to see whether they want to take it up back or not? It's not the county government, isn't it? Yes, it's the commission of land. They are the ones who are supposed to come in. And whatever land they will pick, they will just talk in a good room like this and agree. But they cannot uh, like disrupt everything. We bring medical, whatever is closed. As we speak now, 200 goods are there with the crude weapons. So the, the people of Nakula are the ones who are suffering because that's the only hospital that they had. Yeah. Mm. She's available, that's one thing. She's not available. Uh, the, today, the people wanted to go for a meeting there and uh, make a presser. But now with the goons and all that, now we saw we'll be like uh, creating a fight. Yeah. So me as a senator, the mandated to do the oversight. Uh, thought maybe I come to parliament and release this order so that the world can know what is happening in the whole county. Yes. So I don't think there is anybody. We can see, we can't say that there is anybody protecting. It is the governor. The governor has a lot of power. She can command anyone around. And especially we don't we don't uh, we don't uh, uh, want to follow the law. You know, you can misuse the power that has been mandated by the people of our county. I've seen that. So there is a lot that needs to be checked, maybe in the constitutional because somebody can misuse and and run the county the way somebody wants and command anybody. Because anybody now there is a case under you. Whether it's a police commander, whether it's a police with their own down. Yes. That's all the, the power of the governor is